By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what to look for, what might be blocking your fertility, and most importantly, what you can do about it right now. Are you struggling to get pregnant and feel like you've tried everything, but nothing seems to work? Maybe you've been tracking your cycles, taking supplements, timing intercourse perfectly, but month after month, you're still not pregnant. If that's you, I want you to know that you're not alone. And more importantly, there's usually a very specific reason why you're not conceiving yet. Today, I'm going to share the five most common causes of fertility struggles that I see in my practice and exactly what you should do about each one of them. These aren't the basic tips you've already heard. These are the deeper root cause issues that most doctors miss. But once you address them, everything can change for your fertility. If you're new here, I'm Dr. Mark Sklar, also known as the fertility expert. For over 23 years, I've helped women just like you uncover the real reasons behind their fertility struggles and finally achieve their dream of becoming moms using natural, functional medicine approaches. That's right, natural ways that you can get pregnant. But before we dive in, if you're ready to discover the proven system that's helped women all over the world transform their fertility naturally, make sure to watch my free masterclass, The Proven Five-Step System to Transform Your Fertility and Reignite Hope to Get Pregnant. I'm going to leave the link in the description below for you. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing is hormonal imbalances. This is what I call the silent fertility killer. The number one cause of fertility struggles that I see in my practice are hormonal imbalances. And here's what's frustrating. Most doctors only test a few basic hormones and miss the bigger picture. Your hormones work like an orchestra. When one instrument is out of tune, the whole symphony sounds off. The same thing happens with your fertility. When one hormone is imbalanced, it affects all the others. So let me share a real story from one of my HOPE program members. Two was 34, about to turn 35, and was diagnosed with low AMH. She also had psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis, an immune condition that was creating inflammation throughout her body. Her conventional doctor told her to try for six months and then come back if nothing happened. But when we ran comprehensive hormone testing, we found multiple imbalances. Not just low AMH, but issues with her thyroid, elevated inflammatory markers, and insulin resistance that was contributing to her autoimmune conditions. Like two, you can get started today with getting comprehensive hormone testing, not just basic panels. This should include FSH, LH, estradiol, progesterone, testosterone, DHEA, prolactin, and a complete thyroid panel. You can also track your cycle symptoms. Do you have irregular periods, PMS, mood swings, or fatigue? All of these can signal hormone imbalances. And you can support your liver, which processes your hormones, by eating cruciferous vegetables like broccoli and kale. Your hormones control ovulation, egg quality, implantation, and your ability to sustain a pregnancy. If they're out of balance, it's like trying to grow a garden in poor soil. Everything else you do won't work as well. If you were part of my HOPE coaching program, we would guide you to get comprehensive functional medicine testing that identifies exactly which hormones are out of balance for you. Then with that information, we create a personalized plan using targeted nutrition, specific supplements, and lifestyle modifications to bring your hormones back into harmony. We don't guess, we test, and then we address the root causes that we find. The second piece, which yes, are hormones as well, is your thyroid dysfunction. This is often overlooked. And this is huge because it's something that gets consistently missed. Your thyroid doesn't just control your metabolism. It's absolutely critical for fertility. Even mild thyroid imbalances can prevent conception and increase miscarriage risks. The problem is most doctors only test TSH, the one main hormone, but you need a full thyroid panel to get a complete picture. I've seen women with normal TSH levels who had significant thyroid issues that were blocking their fertility. So let me tell you about another member of my program. She had been trying for over a year with no success. Her TSH was normal, according to her doctor, but when we ran a complete thyroid panel, what did we find? We found that her T3 was low, her reverse T3 was high, and she had thyroid antibodies indicating the beginning stages of an autoimmune condition called Hashimoto's disease. 
These are the signs that you might look for if you had something similar. Fatigue, especially in the afternoon, cold hands and feet, thinning of your hair and hair loss, difficulty losing weight, constipation, brain fog, or difficulty concentrating, irregular periods, or changes to your cycle. You can start looking at your thyroid function by requesting a complete thyroid panel. Support your thyroid through some key nutrients by getting selenium-rich foods like Brazil nuts. Reducing gordogenic foods if you have a thyroid issue is really important, and this includes raw cruciferous vegetables. You want to eat them cooked. And address stress, which can support thyroid function. Your thyroid hormones directly impact ovulation. If your thyroid is sluggish, your ovulation may be delayed or inconsistent, making it much harder to conceive. In our HOPE program, we would run comprehensive thyroid testing and look at how your thyroid is functioning in relation to your other hormones. We would also identify if you have conversion issues of your thyroid hormones, autoimmune components, or nutrient deficiencies that are all affecting or could affect your thyroid. Then we'd create a targeted protocol with specific supplements, dietary changes, and lifestyle modifications to optimize your thyroid function to improve your fertility and work for you, not against you. The third thing that I want you to look at is insulin resistance and blood sugar imbalances. This is one of the most underdiagnosed causes of fertility problems, especially for women with PCOS. But even if you don't have PCOS, blood sugar imbalances can significantly impact your fertility. High insulin levels can disrupt ovulation, increase testosterone, and create inflammation that damages egg quality. It's also linked to higher miscarriage rates and pregnancy complications. I recently had a member in my HOPE program who couldn't figure out what was wrong with her blood sugar. She just couldn't figure it out. So her fasting glucose looked normal, but she was having energy crashes, sugar cravings, and stubborn weight gain. We had her use a continuous glucose monitor, CGM, for about two weeks, and it revealed that her blood sugar was spiking dramatically after certain foods and staying elevated for hours. Once she adjusted her diet and exercise habits based on this information, her blood sugar regulated, her energy improved, and she was pregnant three months later. It's not always that easy, but it can be. And here are some signs for you to look for. Sugar cravings, especially in the afternoon. Energy crashes between meals. Difficulty losing weight, especially around your midsection. Skin tags or dark patches on your skin. Irregular periods or long cycles. And elevated fasting glucose or insulin levels. If you want to start supporting healthy blood sugar levels, you can start by eating balanced meals with protein, healthy fats, and fiber at every meal. You can also avoid eating carbohydrates alone. Always pair them with protein or fat. And then I want you to consider intermittent fasting under guidance if it's appropriate for you. Exercise and regular exercise is especially important after meals and get testing for fasting insulin, not just glucose. Insulin resistance can prevent ovulation, reduce egg quality, and create an inflammatory environment that's hostile to conception and implantation. If you were in our program, we would test your fasting insulin, your glucose, and hemoglobin A1c to assess your blood sugar control. For some members, we recommend using a CGM to get real-time data about how different foods affect their blood sugar at different times of the day. Then we'd create a personalized nutrition plan and supplement protocol to optimize your insulin sensitivity and blood sugar control. If you're starting to see patterns in your fertility journey, and want personalized support to address these root causes, I invite you to book a personalized fertility assessment with a member of my team. We'll dive deep into your specific situation, identify what's been holding you back, and create a clear roadmap to optimize your fertility naturally. Click the link in the description below to book your free assessment call. Number four is chronic inflammation and gut health issues. This is something most fertility doctors completely ignore is or can be absolutely critical. Chronic inflammation can damage egg quality, disrupt hormone production, and prevent implantation. And much of this inflammation actually starts in your gut. Your gut health directly impacts your hormone levels, immune function, and overall fertility. If you have digestive issues like bloating, gas, irregular bowel movements, food sensitivities, these can be red flags that inflammation is affecting your fertility. I had a member in my HOPE program who had been doing everything right nutritionally, taking 
all the right supplements, but she was still struggling with irregular cycles and hadn't conceived after 18 months of trying. When we ran comprehensive gut testing, we found significant bacterial overgrowth and intestinal permeability, or what you might call leaky gut. We focused on healing her gut first before we even addressed anything else. We did a gentle detoxification protocol, healed her gut lining, and rebalanced her microbiome. Two months later, she was pregnant, and I hadn't even given her anything specifically to improve egg quality. Do you have any of these seven symptoms? Digestive issues, which include bloating, gas, constipation, or diarrhea food sensitivities or intolerances, skin issues like acne, eczema, or rashes. Maybe you have joint pain or stiffness or fatigue that doesn't improve with rest, frequent infections or getting sick often, or autoimmune conditions. If so, I want you to do this. I want you to focus on an anti-inflammatory diet rich in omega-3 fatty acids, antioxidants, and fiber. I want you to include fermented foods like sauerkraut, kimchi, or kefir. And I want you to consider eliminating common inflammatory foods like gluten and dairy for 30 days to see how you feel. Then I want you to support your gut with high-quality probiotics. I want you to manage your stress, which directly impacts gut health. Inflammation can interfere with ovulation, reduce egg quality, and prevent proper implantation. Your gut produces neurotransmitters and helps regulate hormones that are essential for your fertility. In our HOPE group program, we would assess your gut health through comprehensive testing when needed and look for signs of inflammation in your regular lab work. Then we'd create a personalized gut healing protocol that might include specific probiotics, anti-inflammatory supplements, dietary modifications, and stress management techniques. We understand that gut health is foundational to fertility health, and I want you to realize that too. Number five is chronic stress and elevated cortisol levels. This might be the most important one, and it's something that almost every woman I work with struggles with. Chronic stress doesn't just make you feel overwhelmed. It actively interferes with your fertility by disrupting your hormones and suppressing ovulation. When you're stressed, your body produces cortisol, and high cortisol levels can suppress the hormones needed for ovulation. Your body is essentially saying this isn't a safe time to get pregnant and puts fertility on the back burner. Your ovaries are literally trying to preserve your fertility by not using eggs in a cycle that they don't believe is safe. I remember working with a woman who had been trying for over two years. Nutritionally, she was doing everything right. Her lab work looked good, but she was working 80 hours a week in a high-stress corporate job. Her cortisol levels were through the roof. Once she made some career changes and implemented stress management techniques, she conceived within three months. Okay, so signs of increased stress can look like this. Difficulty falling asleep or staying asleep, waking up tired even after a full night's sleep, feeling anxious or overwhelmed regularly, irregular periods or changes in your cycle length, getting sick frequently, difficulty losing weight despite diet and exercises. You can also have sugar and caffeine cravings and feeling tired but wired. If this is you, then I want you to start by prioritizing sleep, aim for seven to nine hours per night and create a consistent bedtime routine. I want you to practice stress management daily. This could be meditation, yoga, deep breathing, or journaling. Set boundaries with work and social commitments. Spend time in nature regularly. And I want you to consider adaptogenic herbs like ashwagandha under guidance. I also want you to limit caffeine, especially in the afternoon, because that's really important. Chronic stress can prevent ovulation, reduce progesterone production, and create an inflammatory environment that's not conducive to conception or implantation for that matter. If you were in my program, we would assess your stress levels through comprehensive hormone testing, including cortisol patterns throughout the entire day. We'd help you identify your specific stressors and create a personalized stress management plan. This might include specific adaptogenic herbs, lifestyle modifications, mindfulness practices, and sometimes acupuncture to help regulate your nervous system and support healthy cortisol rhythms. Okay, a bonus one, number six, male factor in fertility, the overlooked 50%. Here's something that might surprise you. Male factor in fertility contributes to about 40 to 50% of fertility struggles, but it's often overlooked 
or addressed last. Many couples spend months or years focusing solely on the woman's fertility before ever testing the man. Sperm quality has declined significantly over the past few decades due to environmental toxins, stress, poor diet, and lifestyle factors. But the good news is that sperm regenerate every 74 days. So improvements can happen relatively quickly. I've seen countless couples where we made simple changes to the man's diet, lifestyle, and supplement routine, and suddenly they conceived after months or years of trying. Here are things that I want you to consider. If you've been trying for 6 to 12 months without success, both partners should be evaluated. Number two, environmental exposures, looking at chemicals, heating, and radiation. Number three, poor diet, excessive alcohol consumption or smoking. These are no-nos. High stress levels or poor sleep can absolutely impact male fertility and medications that can affect sperm quality as well need to be looked at. And previous infections or injuries, these can't be overlooked. In the next month, I want you to do this. I want you to get comprehensive semen analysis, not just the basic count. I want you to improve your diet with antioxidant-rich foods. I want you to reduce environmental toxin exposure, manage stress levels, and prioritize sleep. I also want you to consider adding in key supplements like CoQ10, zinc, and vitamin C. And lastly, I want you to avoid excessive heat like hot tubs, saunas, or tight clothing. Even if your fertility looks perfect on paper, poor sperm quality can prevent conception or increase miscarriage risks. It takes two healthy partners to create a healthy pregnancy. In our HOPE program, we always evaluate both partners. We'd run comprehensive sperm analysis and look at overall male health factors. We create personalized protocols for both partners because we understand that fertility is a team effort. Many of our success stories involve optimizing both partners' health simultaneously. So I don't want you to ignore that. So there you have it. The five most common causes of fertility struggles that I see in my practice. Hormonal imbalances affecting ovulation and quality. Thyroid dysfunction disrupting your entire reproductive system. Number three, insulin resistance preventing ovulation and damaging eggs. Number four, chronic inflammation, which can create a hostile environment for conception. And number five, chronic stress suppressing the hormones needed for fertility. And I did throw in a six bonus one, male factor. The key things to understand is that these issues are often interconnected. It's rarely just one thing. It's usually a combination of factors that are working together to block your fertility. But the good news is that all of these issues can be addressed with the right approach. I want you to remember this. Struggling to get pregnant doesn't mean there's something wrong with you or that you're broken. It usually means that there are underlying imbalances that need to be identified and addressed. And once you address the root causes, your body can often heal and conceive naturally. I've seen this happen thousands of times in my practice. Women who were told they had unexplained infertility or that IVF was their only option. But once we identified and addressed these root causes, they conceived naturally. Just like two who I mentioned earlier. She was diagnosed with low AMH and autoimmune conditions. But once we addressed her inflammation, balanced her hormones, and optimized her overall health, she got pregnant naturally. And now she has her healthy baby. Here is what you can start doing today. First, get comprehensive testing to identify your specific imbalances. Then I want you to focus on anti-inflammatory nutrition. I also want you to prioritize stress management and sleep. And I want to address any digestive issues you have. And we can't forget your partner in the fertility optimization process. If you're ready to stop guessing and start getting real answers about what's blocking your fertility, I invite you to apply for a personalized fertility assessment with my team. We'll dive deep into your unique situation, run the right tests, and create a personalized plan to address your specific root causes. This isn't about giving you generic advice that you can find anywhere online. This is about creating a roadmap that's specifically designed for your body, your imbalances, and your fertility goals. Many of our HOPE program members tell us that this assessment was the turning point in their fertility journey. The moment that they finally got clarity about what was really going on and what they needed to do about it. Click on the link in the description below to book your free personalized fertility assessment. Let's work together to uncover what's been holding you back and create a clear path forward to your dream of becoming a mom. You don't have to struggle alone and you don't have to keep wondering what's wrong. There are answers and there is hope. Until the next video, stay fertile and stay hopeful.